hello guys welcome back to my channel you are highly welcome back my name is adora i'm a nigerian youtuber based in chicago illinois today i'm going to share with you this donut recipe it is very beginner friendly it is very easy and quick to make and it is also so yummy so if you want to find out how i made it please continue watching if this is your first time of coming across my channel you are welcome please click on subscribe and you can also turn on your bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. For the list of our ingredients, we'll be needing 4 cups of all-purpose flour. This is how you should always measure your flour whenever you are making any recipe. Do not heap the cup because if you do that, you are not going to get the accurate measurements and that will affect the recipe. We will also be needing 4 tablespoons of softened butter. This is unsalted. Here I have half cup of sugar. You can add more or you can add less. Here I have 1 tablespoon of vanilla. I have half a seed of nutmeg. Nutmeg is optional. And I have 2 tablespoons of yeast. This is bread machine yeast, also called instant dry yeast. I also have two eggs. I have one teaspoon of salt. I have half a cup of milk. You can also make use of water if you prefer. So you start by adding in all your dry ingredients. Here I added my salt. I also added my sugar. I grated in my nutmeg. Added then my yeast and I stirred everything together until they were all well incorporated. After mixing all your dry ingredients together, add in all the liquid ingredients. Here I added in the two eggs. I also added one tablespoon of vanilla. Mix it together properly. Add in your milk or your water, just add it gradually and continue mixing. You can also mix with your hands. Continue mixing until you achieve a smooth dough. This will take you about 15 to 20 minutes. If for any reason your dough ends up being too sticky or too dry, you can add in more liquid or more flour as needed. So when you have achieved a smooth dough, add in your softened butter and continue mixing for about more 10 minutes.
Now rub some oil on the surface of the mixing bowl. This will prevent the dough from sticking to the bowl after proofing. Cover with a film wrap and your kitchen towel. Leave in a warm place to proof for about 45 minutes or until it doubles in size. After about 45 minutes, punch all the air bubbles, remove all the air bubbles and continue kneading with your hand again for about more 5 to 7 minutes. Now transfer to a floured work surface. So for this donut recipe, you don't even need too much equipment. You don't need a rolling pin. You don't need a donut cutter. You just need the simple things you can find in your home. Just like a bottle of water, a bottle of drinking water. That is what we need to shape this donut. So once you transfer to a work surface, just mix again. Just try and knead it again for about more three minutes. Then just relate the way you see me doing now Now it's time to form our donut shape. Using a knife or a pizza cutter, cut your dough into medium chunks. Now just try and form like a ball. Continue folding it and just tuck it in at the back. And this is what we will use to form our donut. You don't need any equipment to do this, just your hand. Just do it the way you see me doing it now. You don't need any other material or equipment to make your donut shape. And this shape is going to give you a very fat and yummy donut. I have tried shaping my donuts with donut cutters but I don't like the shape and the size it gives me. It gives me a very skinny and a very big hole in the middle donut which is not really my type of donut. I like my donuts very chubby and very fat, very thick. That's the type of donuts I like. But feel free to shape it whatever style and whatever thickness you like. After forming the balls, cover with a film wrap again. Just leave it to rise for about five more minutes. After five minutes, the next thing now is to cut out a very small hole in the middle you know just to give it this perfect donut shape i used a sprite bottle to create my own hole at the middle you can make use of anything you have around you that can give you just a very tiny hole at the middle Cover for the final time, let it proof for 5 minutes, then we can start frying the donut. So in a heated pot, pour in your oil, when it becomes very hot, you can start frying the donut. I like to test fry my oil first, just to make sure that I've gotten the right temperature. 
so I used all those small dough I cut from the middle of the donuts just to test fry the oil to see if the temperature is alright so now start adding in your donuts and just fry on a medium to high heat you don't want it to be too high if not it is going to burn on the outside without cooking on the inside and if the oil is not hot enough it is going to make the donut to absorb too much oil which is not good as well Fry for about 2 minutes on each side until you achieve a golden brown color. When golden brown, transfer to a metal rack to cool down completely before you can start enjoying it. So this is how to make donuts. It is very very simple, very very beginner friendly. I hope you try this out at home and let me know how it comes out. So we have come to the end of this video but I can't just dismiss you like that. We have to open this donut and see how it looks on the inside. Oh my god, can you see how meaty it is, like how full of life the inside of this donut is. I hope you just try out this recipe, it is very easy. It is something you can do, okay? You can do it, just try it out. <laughs> try it out and you'll be amazed. This donut was something else, like in fact I'm going to be making it every weekend for my family it is so so good thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed please subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye